With the release of the latest patch for DCS, we saw an announcement for new and improved AI for basic fighter maneuvers. So what exactly changed? This is an area I get a lot of exposure to since I do a lot of recording with the AI for this channel. So when this update was released, the changes to the AI's behavior jumped right out at me. To understand what's new, we need to talk about how the old system worked. The old system was characterized by AI that made a choice for its game plan at the merge. In my experience, it stuck to this plan rigidly. That plan typically fell into one of two variations. It was either a maximum rate two-circle plan in the horizontal plane, which usually ended up being a very long, drawn-out, and boring fight, or the AI decided to zoom climb and drop down on me from above. The choice was dependent on if the AI thought it had a better turn rate than me, in which case it went for the two-circle plan or if it guessed that it had a thrust advantage over me, then it would climb. But if you just waited until the merge, you could counter whichever plan it went with. That's what you see playing out in the video that's running right now. Once you saw what was happening, it wasn't too hard to outsmart the AI. Either way, it could end up being a pretty boring fight. But the dev team changed that. Now I see the AI re-evaluating that initial game plan. So if the AI started a one-circle fight and you reverse to turn it into a two-circle fight, you'll see the AI also reverse to turn it back into a one-circle fight again. Not only is it updating the game plan, but the AI is now more likely to go out of plane. What I'm talking about is the plane of motion, or the two-dimensional space that both fighters circle within during a dogfight. When you get sucked into a fight in this single plane of motion, you enter something that was referred to as a rat race by famed fighter pilot Robin Olds. As he described it, the thing degenerates into an exhibition of all the things you should not do in air-to-air -air combat. People try to outturn each other and start flying slower and slower and get lower and lower. That's the best way I know to get knocked down. Not only is it bad tactically to enter the rat race, but I also found it to be really boring. And it looks like the dev team agreed with me here and decided to make it more interesting. So now the AI will go out of plane like this. These maneuvers are much more difficult to track. So if your target is doing this, you're going to have a hard time shooting it down with guns. So hopefully you brought some missiles. But more importantly, these out of plane maneuvers bring some variety to the fight. In the end, we play DCS for fun. So we don't want stale and monotonous battles with the AI. We want them to be fun, and I think these changes bring that to DCS. Before I end this video, I wanted to leave you guys with an example of the new AI logic. You'll see that here I reversed right after the merge, which isn't particularly good BFM, but I wanted to see how the AI would react. With the AI flying a hornet, it doesn't want to be in a nose-to-tail fight with me, so it also reverses at the next merge. This puts us right back into the nose-to-nose -nose fight that the AI wants. I'll be quiet now, but I wanted to point out one part before I go. You'll see a downward spiral where the AI tries to force me to overshoot and almost succeeds. I thought that was really impressive and I bet it'll get a lot of people. Let me know what you guys think of the new AI in the comments, and thanks for watching. Altitude. 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 Altitude.